Hi, this is Mike Johnston, and the question of today is what are AdWords ad extensions? And if you're just getting into using AdWords, ad extensions can be great tools. Um, <clears throat> the simple definition given here is that AdWords charges no more than two clicks per impression on each ad and its extensions. The cost of clicks and extensions are set in the same way as headline clicks. The most you'll pay is what is minimally required to keep your extensions in ad position. Okay, so, wow, that was confusing. Right here is an ad with ad extensions. Your basic ad does not have any of this here, okay, or this. <clears throat> your basic ad has a title, a URL, and a description, and that's it. Okay, ad extensions allow you to put other things like links to other pages on your website, a phone number, and other elements. Let's start with a look at AdWords. Here you are in the AdWords dashboard. Campaigns, ad group settings, ads, keywords, audience, ad extensions. So, now you're building an ad campaign. You have some ad groups, or at least an ad group, and you've made an ad, and or you're making an ad, and you want to configure some extensions. Here are your choices. Location extensions. This is tied into your Google My Business and shows your location. Call extensions allow you to put a phone number with your ad. App extensions, if you have an app you would like people to go and download, that's an extension where you can put a link to your app. Review extensions, again, connected to your Google My Business page, allows you to display reviews, the number of reviews and stars is really how it's done, of your business that you received on your Google My Business page. Call out extensions, <clears throat> allow you to add a call out. Structured snippet extensions allow you to add other elements based on structured snippets. Price extensions allow you to add a price. And then there's an automated extensions report. Okay, um, here's another look at some ads so you can see extensions. This is, I just searched pet supplies. Okay, so here's a pet supply set. They have page extensions. Okay. Here we have some call outs, some product extensions. Again, and this one is good. This is your basic ad right here. And you have to think if you are an ad with a yeah, potential customer, what ad is going to catch your attention? Well, obviously, the one at the top of the page with the ad extensions takes up the most real estate and is probably going to be the one that you the most curious about whereas this one down here it's not really saying much to me it's not making it any easier for me but let's look at another another <coughs> um, type of extension this is easy because I can do it based on mine um, but I could running ads at the moment which I'm not so just, uh, well, there's my local directory listing, but that doesn't count. Um, 4.7 stars out of 34 ratings, which locally, gosh, I'm the only one with any ratings. Um, but that is kind of how the ad would look. You would have this little bar in here showing your total ratings and your average score that would go right in under here. Um, Okay, we can look at the AdWords help file, which I'll put a link to that in the description below. And this explains a little bit more about extensions. <clears throat> ad extensions are a type of ad format that show extra information extending from your text ads about your business. Some can be added manually and others are automated. The reason behind it, improved visibility. Ad extensions tend to improve your ad's visibility. More value. Ad extensions often increase your total number of clicks by improving the click-through rate, CTR, of your ads. They provide valuable ways for users to learn more about your business or interact with your ad, such as making a phone call to your business or providing more links to your website. Okay. And then this will tell you how they work and at what they cost 
it explains it all pretty well. Um, but just while you're in the video here, if we can give you a little bit more of an idea of what's available and how they work, um, then you can go and have at it. Um, the apps extension, this is the list of main extensions. The apps extension, you can have it on a search network with display select campaign, all features, search network only all features. It is available all over the world and is available on mobile and tablet only. You can't do an apps extension on a desktop. Calls, search network with display select, search network only, and display network only. Available globally, mobile, tablet, and desktop. Search and display networks on mobile, search network only on tablet and desktop. Locations extension, search network with display select, search network only, and display network only. Available globally on only mobile and tablet. And the reason behind that is when somebody is searching on a mobile or tablet, they may indeed be mobile themselves and looking for something nearby that they can get to. And so in that situation, a location extension would be very helpful to the searcher and to you because it could bring them to your door. Um, review extensions. The search network would display select all features. Search network only all features. It's available globally and in the following languages. Available on desktop only. Well, mobile, the mobile ad space just doesn't allow for a whole lot there. Um, so, you know, that's why some of these are limited on mobile. Callouts are available on the search network. We display select and search network only. Also available globally and only on mobile and uh, on mobile tablet and desktop available on everything automated extensions <clears throat> which are a little bit different consumer ratings search network with display select search network only available in us uk canada and australia on mobile tablet and desktop previous visits search network with display select it shows me if i've previously visited and how many times available globally mobile tablet and desktop Seller ratings are available in these countries, mobile tablet desktop, search network, display select, search network only. Dynamic site link extensions. I've had good success with these sometimes, and sometimes they've failed dramatically. I think it depends on the business and <clears throat> your intended market. Um, they're definitely worth a try. They essentially, um, you know, build your site links dynamically in that they use the search query to base the links that they display. Um, it's available globally. It is kind of contextual, which is what makes it cool. Available on mobile, tablet, and desktop. And finally, dynamic structured snippets. So they're available on tablet and desktop, not mobile. And they're available on the search network for this very select. Um, so if you want to know more, go to this page, which I will include the link in the description of the video. And browse through here if you have any questions you can post them as questions in um, the comment section under the video or go to the google small business forum or the google adwords forum on um, lithium it's the lithium platform just search google adwords platform google adwords forum or Google Small Business Forum and you will readily find the link. I am there as an advisor to the small business community and as an expert on the Google Partners community. So I will see you there if you have any more questions. Thank you. Hey, Mike Johnston again, coming to you from the Evangelical Family Practice Satellite Office in Sealands Grove, out here on Route 522. And today I wanted to talk to you about promoting medical practices on the web and, uh, you know, why it's important and why it's 